Hi there, you're on Gossip Says channel. Enjoy watching. Subscribe and like it. It's growing our community. Story 1 I'm in love with my best guy, but he's got a girlfriend, and I cry and realize that he's cheating on me. Throw away because I don't feel comfortable sharing such personal stuff like this on my real ICC. And sorry this is long, but I felt like background was important. I met my current best friend about two years ago at work. I just started when lockdown first started where I live and was introduced to most of the team through Zoom meetings and calls. But our workplace was always very insistent on meeting as soon as it was safe. This is when I first met him face to face. He was a couple years my senior there, great guy. And when we were first put onto a project together, he was the most encouraging and supportive person I've ever met. His work ethic and talent, we are in a creative field, and he's just incredible, just pulled me into him almost instantly, and we quickly became good friends. We get along so well it's a bit scary. I have a lot of familial trauma that outs itself in attachment issues, and in an inability to open up to people or be their friend much deeper than grazing the surface. I'm alone a lot, and I don't often long for personal connection though that has its moments OFC. I've gotten much better through therapy, but still find it very hard sometimes. He is the only person I've felt this emotionally close to ever. We spend so much time together it should be exhausting, but I'm just happy whenever I see him, and I could spend hours being near him. Even my previous best girlfriend didn't get me this. Rose tinted. He just is my person. I guess I'm in love, but I don't have anything to really compare it to. Platonic love seems to pale in comparison to what I feel for him. He's my best friend. I trust him with my life. If I would have to say when my feelings became so strong, it would probably be even only a month or three into our friendship. But I was new and I didn't want to be unprofessional, and I brushed off saying anything because I truly didn't think it was important. I cherish our friendship, and when he's happy it genuinely, genuinely made me so happy. We have had weekends where we both had projects to finish. Our first project together was over a two-month period, and we often request to be on projects together for the synergy, not always approved by our manager, but often enough for our colleagues to joke about it and we spent hours sitting in his living room working with papers everywhere and working until one of us dropped, or seven cups of coffee in. I've slept in the same bed as him, side to side. Ever since coming into work again has been more frequent. He's been my go-to carpool buddy. I sing in his car and he looks at me with a stupid grin so often I've gotten to the point of being able to grab his face and turn it back to the road with a laugh. Mutual friends used to ask if we were finally dating daily. I don't think I felt entitled to a relationship then, but I guess I hoped. I guess that that one night when a family fight left me in tears and I called him to go to McDonald's where I cried so long and he brushed my hair back to let him look at me, I wanted him to be in love. All I knew was that I wasn't going to be the one to ask. I couldn't think of anything more terrifying than putting the ball in his court. Someone who knows me, all of me, and being told it wasn't isn't enough. So finally getting to the problem. May of this year, we went on small trips to different places for work. When I got back from mine, I slept, went to the office and helped a colleague and mutual friend set up something for our floor manager's birthday. The next morning he came back from his trip. We texted, everything seemed normal. After our hours, we talk for a bit, before he says he has some stuff to pick up and I go to light the candles etc. Everyone's in a good mood. Floor manager is elated. My mate and I pop champagne as some people from other floors join and he comes back with stuff and a girl on his arm. Because this was a after hours event, that isn't a problem. People can invite an SO if they want, because we might be here a couple of hours. I only really remember turning looking at him, at her, back at him, at our mutual friend all as I feel like my legs are going to give out and all my blood has drained from my body. He introduces her as his girlfriend. I feel like throwing up, excuse myself as politely as I can, 
and the next second I find myself bawling in the smoking area. I probably acted like I was dying, but I really have never felt such emotional pain that I could feel it in my physical body. When I got cleaned up people who know us kept looking at me with pity, so I guess it was pretty obvious on my face that I was shattered. Buddy, be it because he's a little oblivious at the best of times, or because he was pretending not to notice I don't know, made normal, friendly conversation with me all throughout the evening. I kept running and talking to other mutuals, and he kept following after to keep talking, like everything was fine. Maybe to him it was. I couldn't breathe the entire time though. When the girlfriend, call her Marie, joined us, I thank every divine entity above I held it together. I'm a big crier, but I'm pretty sure that would have been a dead giveaway even for me. In the months following, I was grieving. Nauseous, upset, I had sudden breakdowns sometimes when I saw him or saw her. I guess I was going through a one-sided breakup. But he didn't stop our friendship. In fact, sometimes it felt like he was doubling down. We had a barbecue party in the summer, and he and Marie were there, along with some other friends, and he was so kind and charming and always tries to have me included. It hurt though. I remember staring at him smiling when talking to her and wanting to die right then and there because it hurt so bad. I don't know why I didn't say I couldn't go sometimes. I don't know why I let it go on so long to the point where I fell physically ill a couple times from crying myself dry. I guess I just didn't really feel like it was fair of me to be upset, because he was happy. Is happy, I should say. Few friends I have would comfort me by saying he was trying to make me jealous, but it's been months, and he's been the same best friend I've had since the start. He isn't the type to try and make anyone jealous, and there was no one competing for that spot anyway, so that's not it. I felt like a masochist. I wanted to be around him, but not. I wanted him to be happy, but it hurt that I wasn't. I wanted so badly to be close to him. But then I felt guilty about taking up space that wasn't mine to take. I've never been self-conscious about my appearance before. I think I'm a pretty girl and I'm happy with how I look. It's not like he's the most handsome guy out there and I was fishing out of my league either. My siblings even said I have weird taste for being so into him. But when I am around him, or Marie, I find myself thinking I'm so ugly, unlovable that this is what I get for hoping someone would be into me, etc, etc. It's horrible. I don't know how not to feel this way, and the one person I would feel comfortable asking can't know. He has asked me one time what I think about Marie, and I told him that she's very nice, she's pretty. She seems to make you happy and he smiled and that was that, and I wanted so badly to just embody that. I didn't want to be the cliché in love girl best friends worry about, I guess. But in trying to stomach it, I've made myself miserable. This Saturday, he asked me to come over and help him buy holiday presents for Marie, and I snapped. I told him over the phone that it's great that he's happy, but I don't have the energy to pretend like I am. I then hung up, turned off my phone, and wrapped myself up in my bed to stress eat and cry the hurt away. I don't react like that. I don't think even when the wound was still fresh I ever talked to him like that. But I was feeling especially lonely and bad this weekend, and I was mad at anyone and everyone that I was hurting. So, he drove to mine, knocked on my door, and halfway through letting him in, he pulls me in a hug. Maybe he thought I had a bad family moment. I still have those quite often. But I was so upset that I asked him mid-cry face into his shirt, to please fuck off. You're exhausting to be around. And went back inside, leaving him at the door. I didn't care about what he decided to do, I just wanted to lay back down. He probably decided it'd be better to give me some space, and left. I didn't look at my phone at all Sunday, and it's now Monday. I called in sick, because I feel like a walking train crash. I feel horrible for what I said because I never gave him an actual confession. I don't feel like it's fair to confess that now either, 
and cause strain on an otherwise fine relationship that makes him happy. I don't know what to do anymore. I want to salvage my friendship, but I don't know how that's possible with where I'm at. I resent him a little for doing this to me, even though I have so much love for him, and I know it isn't his fault. I need advice, TLDR. I fell in love with my best friend, and never told him. After months of him having a girlfriend, I can't stomach to be around either of them anymore. Please subscribe, leave comments, rate videos, and click the bell not to miss my videos. Story 2 Mike 23F of about a year had lied to me 23 meters in some capacity about something that occurred between her and my best friend 24 meters. So to give some background, I 23 meters met my now girlfriend 23F at a party in August 2021. I'll use dates to help make a timeline. She was introduced to me by my best friend 24 meters who went to high school with her. They are pretty close and my best friend calls her his best girlfriend. Long story short, we hit it off at the party and even drunkenly kissed each other goodnight. For the next few months, we had a casual relationship that wasn't defined as boyfriend-girlfriend, but we were essentially always going out with friends and then spending the night together and not seeing anyone else. Then in December 2021, we put a label on it and were officially a couple. Fast forward to April 2022, Mike and I were at a party and she drunkenly told me that she has made out with my best friend before. She told me this because she knows that I don't like the idea of dating someone who had a thing with one of my friends and felt guilty. I was shocked since it was very out of the blue. So I asked for some time to process it and she gave me some. She was pretty devastated after I said I wanted some time to think since she was worried I would dump her and she pleaded with me to not be upset. The next day we had a good sober discussion about it and I asked her a few questions about the incident where I learned the following. They didn't do more than kiss. It was years ago in high school and they realized it was a mistake and stopped. I believe that any person is free to have done anything they pleased in the past without any judgment from someone who wasn't even in the picture at the time, aka me. I said that it wasn't a big deal and it wouldn't affect how I feel about her at all and I want nothing more than to continue to date her. This gets me to where I'm at today. New information has been showed to me by my best friend. I was sent texts between my best friend and Mike that were from the weekend after I met Mike so the August 2021 day plus a week and another one from the night she first told me about what happened April 2022. I guess my friend felt guilty since he didn't think Mike and I would actually get serious and finally decided to tell me. Begin text convo from August 2021 a week after I met Mike Fit was a conversation that started at midnight where my best friend had texted six times telling her to come to his room and talk about what happened as well as she should come sleep in his bed. Mike didn't respond to him until the next morning and they talked about how she woke up without any clothes on and how her memory from the night was foggy. She said she remembered making out with him and him taking her clothes off. My friend then said she tried to have sex with him but he said no and she got mad and stormed off. I'm uncertain on this statement cause they joke a lot and if anything I see it going the other way around. She responded saying way to have good morals when he's drunk. They then joked about how it was good they didn't hook up and kissing is cute and fun. End text convo about it. Now for the second text in April 2022. Begin text number two between friend and GD. She sent a message saying he doesn't need to respond to the text, but she accidentally told me about how he and her had made out and that she said it was while they were in high school. Also that I probably wouldn't bring it up to him. She was right and she thought she should warn my best friend about it in case I brought up the topic of what happened between the two of them. She then stated about how I wasn't thrilled about the information when I heard it. He responded saying that the message was a lot of info and she'd have to call him later. And convo to. So obviously this happened when we weren't officially together so following my previous logic I thought I could accept it and move on. Unfortunately after a week of sitting on it I get a terrible feeling in my stomach whenever I think about it.
I think what bothers me the most is the lack of honesty and the fact she thought she needed to give him a warning in case it came up. I feel like she either lied to me about it happening only once or lied to me about the date it actually happened, this is what I am leaning towards right now. I trust they didn't hook up the night where I saw the texts. Not sure if it's worth adding, but my best friend moved to another state for work back in October 2021 so there being some sort of cheating between them seems very unlikely. So Reddit I come to you for advice. I plan on talking with her but based on how the first conversation went I'm worried she'll get really upset and I'll ruin things. I like her a lot and believe she would never hurt me, but I don't want to be blinded by that and not handle the situation properly. How do I bring this up with her to have the right conversation to get the truth and understand why she said what she did? I was considering not bringing it up at all since we weren't officially together at the time but I think the lying is what's getting to me and not the actions. It feels so tough because I'll be bringing this up out of nowhere since we thought we resolved this months ago so she'll probably be panicked a bit. I'd like to make the relationship work but this is really bothering me and I'd how to handle this without either ruining the relationship or not getting answers. Thanks in advance. TLDR. My 23 meters girlfriend 23 f drunkenly told me about kissing my best friend 24 meters but had lied about either the number of times it has happened or the actual timing of when it happened way before me knowing her versus a week after I met her for the first time. I'm not sure how to handle the situation in order to get the truth and understand why she lied. Please subscribe, leave comments, rate videos and click the bell not to miss my videos.